Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone in this next opportunity, I want to tell you about my presentation of hydro power plant. Okay, let me introduce myself. My name is Ferdia Dura Maluyo, number 21 from Team in System Place Data. Next, okay, this is my main idea. First, definition, types, parts, control, principle, working, pros and cons of hydropower plan. At first, definition of hydropower plan. Is electrical energy energy produ- produced through the power of moving water? Power obtained from the gravitational gravitational movement of water. Hydro power plant derive energy from the force of moving water and hard use energy for useful purpose. Traditional use. include water mine. In modern technology, wind power move turbines that pass on their energy to a generator which then produce electric power. Hydro power is a type of renewable energy and once the power plant is constructed, it produces little to no waste. Next, the second types of hydropower plant. Here are some types of hydropower plant. First, pump storage hydropower plant, reversible turbine pump hydropower plant, underground hydropower plant, and Tidal power plant. In pump storage hydropower plant, mean supply, the peak load hydropower plant has to have the installed capacity of high load of which remains idle during the off peak hours. The more demand of variable power supply. It is necessary to devise some way to achieve the economical loading of the power plant by leveling up the load curve. Second, reciprocal turbine hydro power plant. In these types of hydro power plant, Francis turbine, which are just A refer of central Google pump conventional in one direct as a motor driven pump and in the reverse direct as a beam. Can I see? Underground hydropower plants. The underground hydropower plants are constructed below the upper level of water. Construct below this are low head plants and tidal power plants. Tidal power plants are not constructed as a hydro power plants. This type install consists of a wire across the drive to be harnessed and housing the power plant with the wear okay next is a part of hydro power plant near in land is a four-year dam intake control kit and stop turbine outflow power line of transmission line, power house, transformator, generator
but I now I want to explain about main component first then raise the water level of the river to create falling water also control flow of water the reservoir that is formed is in effect stored in the sea. second the turbine the force of falling water pushing against the turbine that cause the turbine spins a water turbine is much like a windmill the transmission line conducts electricity from the hydropower plant to harness and business. Fourth generator connects to the turbine by shaft and possibly gear to so when the turbine spins it causes the generator to spin also. Next, control. In hydropower plants, use DCS for control. A definition of DCS are a distributed control system is a specially designed automatic control system that consists of geographic distributed control element over the plant control area. It's different from the centralized control system where in a single control at central location handle the control function. But in DCS, its process element automation or group machines is controlled by the decades control. DCS consists of a large number of local control in various sections of plant control area and uh, connect via a high speed communication network. And then, and the right working and operational operation of DCS system. The operation of DCS goes like this sensor sends the process information and send into the local AO modules to which executor are also connected so as to connect control the power process parameter the information or data from this remote module in gather in products control unit via field loops. Next principle working at first water flow through this sluice that has been set to get this desired water discharge and then this water flow will pass through the rapid pip where in the rapid pip water pressure enters and the water from the rapid pip will then fall on the turbine blade so that the turbine can rotate then because the turbine rotate the salt attack to the turbine which is connected to the generator will also rotate the generator rotate causing a magnetic flow between the stator and rotor so that electron flow will occur and this that water what I call a And the last, the electric generator, the, the generator will be flow to the transfer and the voltage voltage be increased and the transfer will be flow to the substrate. Okay, next pros and cons. 
about Hydro power plant Number one improves relative non pollution because it uses water as a salt. Second, no full need. Three, cheap operation and maintenance. In cons, requires a large area to get a large electricity capacity. Hydro power plants can be impacts by hydro when water is not available. The hydro power plant won't produce electricity. Hydro power can impact water quality and flow. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Smell so